everybody, welcome to yet another video. So today we're looking at the NS Iwata WS400 OBS Series 2. So the OBS stands for Opt Optimized Base Coat Settings. So effectively it's a base coat gun. Although it can be used for clear coat. But in, in this video all we've done is used it for base coat. Now... One of the things with, with these guns, I'll, I'll put a few links in the description to various videos on these guns, but they do suffer problems. I won't go into it too much in this because I do I do in the other videos and it shows you more the physical differences. But with the Series 2, uh, I want to claim that they uh, give you much more control. Uh, they've fixed the problems that they had, etc., etc. Well, the original WS400 OBS didn't really have any problems. Uh, the very original WS400 base coat gun did have a problem, and that's because it was exactly the same as the WS400 clear coat ver version. It just had clear written on it or base coat, uh, sorry, base on it. But they, they quickly changed that and they brought out the OBS version. So the Series 1 OBS is the one with the gold uh, controls. This is the new version of it, the one with the blue controls. But because the tip is actually different to the clear coat version, same physical centre size, but the actual holes are smaller. Um, it has the same cap as the clear version, although it's designated a different number, but when you look at it, it's exactly the same. So nothing's changed, really. Between the Series 1 and the Series 2 OBS, nothing has changed, apart from the styling and the, you know, the colour controls, etc., of the, the colours of the knob, ex knobs, etc., and cap. But nothing's really changed. So... The idea of doing this video is to see whether it, anything's actually changed as far as uh, the use of the gun goes, you know, how it actually performs. Uh, I've got the original OBS, and obviously I've now got this one. I, I got this one in the summer of 2023, so this year, if you're watching this now. Uh, and I, I honestly, I, I give it a good two weeks working out uh, to see if I can actually see any difference between the two. And I can't see any, di not, not physical difference, I can't see any difference between the way these things spray at all. So that's not to say that the Series 2 is a bad gun, because the Series 1 is actually a very good gun, uh, and, and obviously so too is the Series 2. But there's not the, not the fixing of a problem that it has done in the Series 2 compared to the Series 1 clear coat guns because there was genuinely problems, the wrong word, probably an anomaly, anomaly where if you use full fan, uh, you would get the fan separating. And again, I will put a link in the description if you want to see more on that. But these guns, the OBS version, I, there's no reason to change. Unless something's wrong with your old OBS version, there's no reason to change. Yes, you can now get a uh, digital gauge, as is the case with this one. And if you look at one of the videos I attached, you'll see that I call myself an idiot <coughs> for getting the base coat version. Uh, sorry, the digital base coat version. And that's only because I got it fairly cheap i got it new unused fairly cheap no box or anything um i can't I don't think there's a box no there wasn't a box uh but it's it, it's a 2000 and i can't remember 2022 or 2023 so in theory it should have the problem fixed although i'm really skeptical about that and that's the problem that the chrome keeps coming off so all the digital versions of the series 2 you will get problems with the chrome eventually. Uh, the best thing to do is keep it in a warmer environment. Uh, not necessarily humid, but just warmer. And it, it stops the, the chrome lifting underneath. With the non-digital versions, which is the one I would recommend you get, you don't get the same thing. They're made in Japan. The digital versions are actually made in Italy. So there's obviously a problem with the quality control. But there's nothing wrong with these guns as far as use goes. They, they work really, really well. They're great for more complex colours on um, more complex base colours, candies, etc. Because of the split tip, they really do perform very, very well. They give you a really fine, 
really fine even mist which is the secret to most more complex paints are, 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 are less forgiving if they're not put on exactly the right so you keep your overlap the same and the pattern is nice and um, even you will start to notice it because you get slightly darker patches or lighter patches so this gun is absolutely superb for more complex base coat but having said that so is the series one so it's not a case of uh, the series one isn't very good this is this is a much better example this is just as good as the series one and the series one is obviously just as good as this so it's just a question of whether you like the styling mm -hmm. if you've got a series one it's absolutely pointless in my opinion changing for the series two we used 1.6 um, bar on this one so it's about what 23 psi uh, these have never suffered the fan separation problems that you get with the WS, the clear coat version. Uh, the original clear coat version, uh, sorry, the original base WS400 did. And that's because the original base coat version just had base written on it instead of clear. But the tip was exactly the same and the cap was exactly the same. So now the cap is exactly the same but the tip is actually different and that changing of the tip means that you don't get the separation that you do on the clear coat version. Um, it was only when it first came out called the Supernova that they actually changed it quite quickly because they realised that it was putting the base coat on far too dry because, because of those bigger holes in the tip, uh, not the centre of the tip, the, the, hole, the air holes around the side of the tip, uh, it was putting the paint on dry so they they cured that and then eventually they brought out an OBS version which is what you see um, here or oh, this is a new version of it but this is the, the final article uh, it wasn't cleared with this gun but it was cleared actually let me look at my notes with an F FLG5 which we will I, I have got a video of it I didn't want to do the two together because obviously they're totally different things uh, and people normally watch the videos because they're interested in a gun or whatever. But yeah, thoroughly recommended gun. The split tip, in my opinion, really, really does work. Not particularly fast, but with a base coat gun, I'd never found that uh, much of a problem anyway. Um, good to do a bonnet, really. I've, I've done a couple of these for someone. Uh, and I've actually got a spare one now. Uh, one of his old ones I got, basically. So I've repaired that, and I can use that as a, a test panel to show you guys me spraying something different uh, other than the bike stuff that I normally do. But, yeah, I mean, it came out well. No patches. Nice and even. It was hard to see whether there's patches, to be honest, because it's a cloudy day. But, yeah, I mean, everything came out well. Highly recommended gun, but just stick stick away from the uh, digital version for the moment until they genuinely sort it out. If you buy it for a dealer, they will swap it, but it's best not to have the hassle in the first place. Cheers, guys. <laughs>